I'm Kalina Arbajeva and I'm a researcher at the European Trade Union Institute. For us, beyond growth means moving away from the paradigm of economic growth as uh, a central objective of our economies and as a main indicator of their success. It means focusing instead on well-being, on social justice and equality, and on participation, which are some of the main themes that we at the ETI are concerned with in the context of the world of work. As the organizations representing working people, trade unions have a key role to play in the post-growth movement. Um, they are well placed, for example, to understand and to address the concerns of workers on the ground, but also to involve workers in the development of a post-growth vision that works for them. As a social movement that is um, and, uh, and has been a powerful agent for social change, they can also generate worker support and political momentum behind making this vision uh, a practical reality. Hello, uh, I'm Kathy Wiese. I'm leading our the economic transition team of the European Environmental Bureau. We are a large network of environmental organizations based in Brussels. And uh, within the economic transition team, we try to um, change the economic system in a way to make it more sustainable from an environmental, but also from a uh, social justice perspective. We always think about the economic system as something unchangeable and fixed, but it doesn't really have to be the way. I mean, the rules and social norms and stories that shape our economic system were designed by people and they can also be changed by people. Care should be organized in a non patriarchal and more democratic way. So that also means distributing unpaid and paid care working activities more equally in our societies. And to just give you an example, uh, Friday Off is actually quite a popular proposal to decouple work from growth, but from an economic perspective, it wouldn't really change so much because care is actually a daily activity. So for people who have caring responsibilities, a reduction of daily working hours uh, would benefit them more than a day off. And that's for me, that's why it's so important to integrate feminist ideas into our visions and policies so that we ensure a truly sustainable and socially just uh, alternative economics. My name is Kimpel Spadadak. I'm a Dutch member of the European Parliament for the Greens EFA group and I mainly work on digitization and the impact it has on both our society and the environment. The digital world is still very much based on an extractive vision of our society. We're extracting raw materials from the ground to make sure we can build the data centers. We're extracting uh, knowledge from people to add into those data centers. And then on top of that, we use those data centers to further extract the already existing knowledge um, that is on the internet and use it often without our consent, without uh, any regard for privacy um, of people um, to make money. And also that's the only goal. I imagine that we have a world where it's not only just a few big players that are in power that decide what you and I get to see online or that decide how we uh, look at health or at education based on data, on metrics. No, actually everyone should have a say. Everyone should be able to decide what happens with their data, uh, how the internet is organized and also to what extent we digitize. Hello, I'm Dirk Holemans. I'm co-president of the Green European Foundation and I'm working on the future of the ecological welfare state. And of course we already have a welfare state, but this rests on an extractive economy, exploiting people in the global south and also destroying nature. So the challenge is to build a new, what you could call, well-being state that provides a good life for all while respecting the planetary boundaries. We have an enormous gap between the rich and the poor. So we really need a tax reform and have, uh, actually you could say, we cannot afford as the rich. So we have to uh, have a wealth, a wealth tax and this gives of course the money to pay for a decent living for everyone. And I think a, a quite interesting proposal for instance is a care income. So people that want to take care of the neighborhood, want to take care of their family that, they, that we provide them with a care income so they are not dependent on the market. 
to have some buy buying power. FRG at the moment is focusing on, on post growth and we just created a platform, the Beyond Growth platform with a group of uh, 15 young people that are working on the topic and we're trying to push the political agenda, especially our green family agenda, to focus on post growth and to understand how post growth can be an alternative from the capitalist and, and uh, society of an economic system based merely on growth to an, 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 an alternative economic system that is instead based on people, based on environment, based on care. We need to work with the younger generation because this is their present and this will be their future and structuring an economic system that is for them and for the survival of us on this planet is the best and the most important thing we can do and we cannot do for them but we must do it with them.